Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad. Welcome to day 10 with our Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. I just realized I have not done any videos in a week and I am so sorry about that. I have been spending too much time at the beach. For today, we're going over two things. One is LumaFusion and number two are three Dex tips which I think are very important. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in first up with LumaFusion. During the Samsung Unpacked event, LumaFusion was announced to be coming to the Tab S8 Ultra. This is a screenshot from my iPad Pro. So unfortunately, LumaFusion is not here yet for the Tab S8 Ultra. In the announcement, they said LumaFusion was coming and had this great automation and all this video about what LumaFusion can do. One thing that of course they don't show you is the fine print. Here is the close-up of the screenshot. LumaFusion for Android will be available at the Galaxy Store in 2022 with Android 11 or higher. App purchase required. Service availability and supporting languages may vary by country. Actual UI may be different. Requires setup of OneDrive syncing on your Galaxy device. Dual front camera is only available for Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. So unfortunately, LumaFusion is not available yet on the Play Store or the Google Play Store. And one thing that sounds interesting is it's coming to the Galaxy Store. And so you might not even need a Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. It might also work with other Galaxy Tabs running Android 11 or higher. So maybe even the Tab S7, S7 Plus. If you have an older device, you might be able to partake in LumaFusion as well. But unfortunately, coming in 2022. And on my blog, written on the Tab S8 Ultra, there's even an official statement from LumaFusion 2022. Honestly, it's in closed alpha right now. I don't think it's coming until the end of the year. All right, so here we are for Dex tips. And one of the things I didn't share with you guys, um, I got a comment this morning that if you turn on auto Dex on HDMI connection, you can have Dex on one screen and tablet and use it normally. Everybody should use this. I've been using this setting for about a week now and I'm sorry I didn't share it sooner. You turn this on, go ahead and just go to setting, go to advanced features, Samsung Dex, and turn on auto start when HDMI is connected. And what happens is when you plug in your HDMI or USB-C cable, display port, whatever cable you're using, instead of mirroring the device, DeX comes onto your monitor, fills up the whole screen, and you use your tablet normally. All right, so that's tip number one. Tip number two, mouse pointer. This sounds kind of weird. Why would you want, why would I give a tip on mouse pointer? Mouse by default is a tiny little white arrow, and when you have a when you connect this to a larger device, such as a 32-inch curved display tablet, sometimes it's easy to lose the mouse. So what you're going to do is go ahead and tap on General Management under Settings, go into Mouse and Trackpad, and from here, just click on Mouse Size, Pointer Size and Color, excuse me. And from here, you can change the size all the way to large, which is enormous. Or you can just simply change the color. There are seven preset colors that you can choose from just to make it stand out more depending on which background you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this blue-green color. And finally, the last tip I'm going to share today is under Dex again. And basically what this will allow you to do is use the same mouse and hover between the tablet and Dex. And this is after you've set up the HDMI connection. So you're going to have to do this on the deck section of the external monitor. You can't actually do this under your tablet. Go into Advanced Features. Go ahead and tap on Samsung Dex. And from here, go ahead and tap on Mouse and Trackpad. And next, you're going to tap on Flow Pointer to Tablet Screen. Go ahead and turn that on. Once you turn this on, basically means that you can drag the pointer from your decks to your tablet back and forth. Now, I have my tablet on the left side of the monitor, so I have my selected from left side of the monitor. If you have it the other way, make sure you just select right. This will just help you use your mouse and switch between decks and the tablet, just making your workflow a lot easier. So today, quick note about LumaFusion and three Dex tips. And sorry I didn't share this earlier. Thank you for commenting and reminding me. All right, guys, that's our quick video for today. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.